Service Teardown, HP Pavilion 14 X360 Convertible Laptop PC. How to replace the base enclosure. Removal. On the bottom of the notebook, carefully peel back each end of both rubber feet. Remove the four 6mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Remove the 2mm P0 Phillips head screw that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Using a non-metallic flat bladed tool, carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Remove the base enclosure. Reverse this procedure to install the base enclosure. How to replace the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Warning, to avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal. Remove the four 4.5 millimeter P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Remove the tape that secures the battery to the motherboard. Lift the rear edge of the battery to disconnect it from the motherboard. Slide the tabs on the battery out of the cutouts in the top cover and remove. Remove the 4.5 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the battery hook to the top cover. Remove the two battery hooks from the top cover. Reverse this procedure to install the battery. How to replace the fan. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the fan cable from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the three 4.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the top cover. Lift the fans off of the alignment pins on the top cover and motherboard and slide it out from under the thermal module. Reverse this procedure to install the fan. How to replace the WLAN module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Caution, use care when disconnecting the WLAN antenna cables from the WLAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the WLAN antenna cables from the WLAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the 2.5 mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw that secures the WLAN module to the motherboard. Grasp the WLAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the WLAN module. Important, when installing the WLAN module, be sure to align the notch in the WLAN module with the key in the WLAN module slot in the motherboard. How to replace the touchpad board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Peel back the mylar that covers the touchpad board. Remove the mylar covering the touchpad board ZIF connector. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the touchpad board. Remove the four 2 mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad board bracket to the top cover. Lift the touchpad board bracket off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Remove the three 2.3 mm P0 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the touchpad board to the top cover. Lift the touchpad board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the touchpad board. How to replace the M.2 solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Carefully remove the solid state drive shielding from the retention clips on the motherboard. Remove the 2.5 mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw that secures the solid state drive to the motherboard. Grasp the solid state drive module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the solid state drive module. Important, when installing the solid state drive, be sure to align the notch in the solid state drive with the key in the solid state drive slot in the motherboard. How to replace the memory modules. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Carefully remove the memory shielding from the retention clips on the motherboard. Push both arms outward simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. 
grasp the memory module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Reverse this procedure to install the memory module. Important: When installing a memory module, be sure to align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot in the motherboard. How to replace the thermal module? Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and fan. Removal. Note: The thermal module has numbers adjacent to the following four screws. Remove the four 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the thermal module over the processor components in numerical order. Note: Due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease located between the thermal module and processor components, it may be necessary to move the thermal module from side to side to detach it from the motherboard. Carefully lift the thermal module off the motherboard and remove. Note: Before replacing the thermal module, the thermal grease should be replaced. The thermal grease should be replaced every time the thermal module is removed. Reverse this procedure to install the thermal module. How to replace the motherboard? Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, and fan. Removal. Disconnect the DC in cable from the connector on the motherboard. Disconnect the webcam cable from the connector on the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard light ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard light ribbon cable from the motherboard. Disconnect the LCD panel cable from the connector on the motherboard. Disconnect the speaker cable from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the 2mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the USB board to the top cover. Remove the 5 2mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard to the top cover. Carefully lift the right edge of the motherboard off of the alignment pins and remove the USB board from the position on the top cover. Guide the external connectors on the motherboard out of the cutouts in the base enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the motherboard. How to replace the USB board? Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, fan, and motherboard. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the USB board ribbon cable from the USB board. Remove the USB board. Reverse this procedure to install the USB board. How to replace the speakers? Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, fan, and motherboard. Removal. Remove the webcam and WLAN antenna cables from the routing channel on the speakers. Remove the LCD panel cable from the routing channel on the speakers. Lift the speakers up and off the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the speakers. How to replace the DC in connector? Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, and display panel assembly. Removal. Disconnect the DC in connector cable from the connector on the motherboard. Carefully remove the DC in connector from the retention tabs on the top cover and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the DC in connector. How to replace the display panel assembly or top cover? Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and WLAN module. Removal. Grasp the top cover near the LCD panel hinges and open it approximately 180 degrees so that it lays flat on your work surface. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless antenna, webcam, and LCD panel cables for later replacement. Disconnect the webcam cable from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the wireless antenna and webcam cables from the routing channels on the speakers. Disconnect the LCD panel cable from the connector on the motherboard and remove it from the routing channel on the speakers. Remove the two 6mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right LCD panel hinge to the top cover. 
Remove the two 6mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left LCD panel hinge to the top cover. Lift the display panel assembly off the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Note, before installing a new top cover, remove all components from the old top cover and install them onto the new top cover. Reverse this procedure to install the display panel assembly or top cover. How to replace the LCD panel? Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, and display panel assembly. Removal. Carefully separate the edges of the LCD panel from the LCD enclosure. Important. Strong adhesive strips secure the right and left edges of the LCD panel to the LCD enclosure. Take care not to damage either component during the separation process. Lift the LCD panel off the LCD enclosure. Close the left LCD panel hinge and remove the LCD panel cable from the hinge cover. Remove the LCD panel. Reverse this procedure to install the LCD panel. How to replace the webcam? Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, display panel assembly, and LCD panel. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the webcam ZIF connector. Using a flat, non-conductive tool, carefully remove the webcam from the adhesive that secures it to the LCD enclosure and lift the webcam off the alignment pins. Disconnect the webcam ribbon cable from the connector on the webcam and remove the webcam. Reverse this procedure to install the webcam. How to replace the LCD panel hinges. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, display panel assembly, and LCD panel. Removal. Remove the three 2.5 mm P0 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the left LCD panel hinge to the LCD enclosure. Lift the left LCD panel hinge off the alignment pins on the LCD enclosure and remove. The right LCD panel hinge is removed in the same manner. Reverse this procedure to install the LCD panel hinges. How to replace the hinge covers? Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, display panel assembly, and LCD panel. Removal. Remove the 2.5 mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the left hinge cover to the left LCD panel hinge. Slide the left hinge cover off the left LCD panel hinge and remove. The right hinge cover is removed in the same manner. Reverse this procedure to install the hinge covers. How to replace the sensor board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, display panel assembly, and LCD panel. Removal. Peel back the retention tape and disconnect the LCD panel cable from the sensor board. Remove the sensor board from the adhesive and retention clips on the LCD enclosure and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the sensor board. How to replace the touch control board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, WLAN module, display panel assembly, and LCD panel. Removal. Peel back the retention tape and disconnect the LCD panel cable from the sensor board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the two touchscreen ZIF connectors. Remove the touch control board from the adhesive and retention clips on the LCD enclosure. Disconnect the two touchscreen ribbon cables from the touch control board and remove. Reverse this procedure to install the touch control board.